Hey guys, AJ here, Richardson Tree Farms. Glad y'all could join us today. Um, I gotta say, I, I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've gotten to you. I truly didn't realize that a couple months have just just absolutely flown by us here. Uh, been doing a few things out here on the farm. Uh, as you can tell, you know, we're gonna hook up the mower here and we're gonna go back in the back and do a little mowing. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do there I've got the Boy Scouts coming out, and as some of you have seen, you know, we've had the Boy Scouts out here before, and what we're going to do is we've got a, uh, they have to have so many hours of camping, and or so many nights of camping, I should say, so I've got a spot way back off in the woods back here, we're going to go back there, and we're going to mow it. I bush hogged it about a week ago, and cleaned it up, and, you know, bush hogging's okay. But you just can't get a get a good cut to, you know, throw tents down on and so on and so forth. So we're going to go back there. We're going to do that. A um, little, just a little rundown on kind of some of the things that we've had going on here. The tractor, been doing wonderful. Uh, it's quite a beast, I will say. We've had quite a, uh, I've, I've done quite a few things with it. Uh, I'm going to take and uh, get another video coming up here shortly of some of the other stuff we've got going on. So, all in all, let me show you just a, a couple things that I have, I have done to it. Not intentionally, not a modification for any gain or any purpose like that, but I was doing a little cleaning up back in the woods, had a great big stump, and you'll see the stump here shortly on our way through. Uh, anyway, I didn't have, I, I just, I don't have enough tractor to pick the stump up and move it. So I was having to roll it, and in the process of rolling it, I didn't get it all the way over past its center point where it would continue to roll. So whenever I got the bucket up so far and I let go of it, it actually rolled back onto the tractor. And you'll see right there, I got a, got a nice little scuff there, and I actually got a pretty good dent right in there. And that's actually... <laughs> That's where the grill guard actually came back and it, it smashed the grill guard into the hood. Uh, not something I'm happy about, being the fact that it's a new tractor. But I am truly glad that the grill guard was there and did what it was supposed to do. It uh, saved me from having to buy a whole new hood and all that good stuff. Uh, you can actually see right here where it landed here and it bent that but all in all i'm pretty pleased with it it uh yeah it, thank, thank goodness that was there um, what i've been doing with it here lately i've come to the realization that this big open hole right here in the center of it i could use an actual brush guard in there it uh yeah, it, it's, well, let's just say I've had a few sticks get a little bit too close to the guard, the uh, grill on it. So, anywho, otherwise everything's going pretty good. Um, like I said, I've been doing some cleaning up, all that good stuff. Um, oh, I did make a modification to our uh, uh, sickle mower over here. Let's walk over and take a look at that real quick. So as I've told many of you all before, uh, this sickle mower, just because of the way it's set up, it will not work on the tractor. It won't fit in between the, the lift arms on it. Um, so what I had to do was I actually built this bracket right here. I built this bracket and it actually, kind of hard to do with one hand. Let's see if I can get a good hold of it. So, it mounts like that, extends out that top link on the tractor just a little bit, just enough, uh, where, you know, the arms and everything will clear. And then, my second problem that I ran into was my top link was too long. I, I just, I couldn't shorten it up enough. So, I got my angle right and all that, and I just, I welded a, a straight bar in between here. So, this... This is permanent. Uh, 
can't adjust it can't do anything with it so we'll uh i haven't got it out yet because i've just kind of kind of been in the process of doing a lot of other things but we will uh we'll get that out here next uh, week or so i gotta fix a couple teeth on it i see a couple broken teeth you know just general general repair but all in all we got that i did hook it up on the tractor and make sure that it works and it it does it uh, it'll lift the it'll lift the bar up and down and do everything that it's supposed to do this way so uh i tried to keep i tried to keep this center point as close to the tractor because there's there is some pressure on it so i tried to keep it as close to the tractor as i possibly could to you know eliminate any excessive torque i put on it just by lifting this up so all right <clears throat> So I guess with that being said, you see we got a nice, beautiful morning here. The cicadas and all the bugs are out chirping and hollering at us. But uh, we'll run back here in the back real quick. We'll go check this out, get this mode, and I'll just uh, let's stick you up over my shoulder and let you go along for the ride, guys. So stay tuned. So here's our stump it doesn't necessarily look huge by any means but let's walk over here by it real quick <clears throat> now granted it is sitting on a pile of ash but you kind of get a more general you see me uh, it's, yeah it's pretty good size so as i said i was trying to roll it I've been burning it uh, it's part of part of the cleanup that I've been talking about um, actually got some <laughs> it's still been burning been <clears throat> been burning for a week down here some hot ash right there See that stuff's still hot. Real hot. So anywho, um, let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. So last time, right back over here, this is where uh, I was kind of cleaning out, getting ready to run that pipe on down. I think of I think I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. I think I'm gonna bring my irrigation line back over here and run it down since I've got uh, my creek crossing is right there um, but I went through back off in there cleaned all that up a little bit quite a bit actually but the big thing is right there uh, you see all that fresh dirt there walk over see if we can get you just a little bit better on it still got some brush up there but been making another burn pile um i've cleared all that out with the tractor I get out here in the evening times start uh start getting with it forget to turn the camera on whatever but i've been doing a lot of doing a lot of work doing a lot of pushing and stuff with it so i'll take and i'll get some video of that i'll get some video of it um anyway we'll continue on back to the back here and Show you what we're show you where we're gonna camp at.
Oof. A little sore. Playing basketball with the kids the other day and you know, I twisted my knee or something. Anyway, so welcome to the back part back here. Uh, get a nice open view of this. Got bugs flying all around me here. Get away. Um, so the goal is, oh, it's not a bug, it's a cobweb. It's amazing. They can uh, build cobwebs overnight and do a darn good job of them. So anyway, here we are. Uh, what we've kind of got planned is, you know, this is going to be our gonna be our campsite back here uh, go through and you know the kids can you know set up wherever got us a little shade we got a nice open spot for setting up tents and you know a little spot where we can set up a uh, campfire over here this is kind of what we're what we're looking to do but I want to get it all cleaned up a whole lot better I don't know y'all can't see that gnat flying around me so anyway so we'll get it cleaned up. Uh, I want to just, you know, kind of knock some of the some of the thick grass, mulch it up just a little bit. That's kind of my goal. I, I you know, want to get it want to get cleaned up. There's a few high spots that I missed. I uh, typically wouldn't bring a finish mower back here, but I've bush hogged it, cleaned all the sticks out of it previously. So I know there's nothing I'm going to run into and tear this up. It's all fairly flat. So. We'll take and uh, run over this real quick and make it look pretty. That's no good. Yep. So it looks like it's time to go on a hunt. Uh, apparently I wasn't paying attention and I lost a pen out of this. So we'll run around here. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but go back where I was and see, see what we can find. That one's not long enough. That one ready. So I just did a quick once around, see if I could find that pin. I, I couldn't find it. Um, I knew the chances would be slim, but I didn't look real hard either. I'll go back and do a little bit better looking as I mow, but I'm scattering the grass, which is what I'm wanting to do. Uh, 
in doing so, I probably covered the pin up. I knew it fell out. I can go back through the video here and kind of get an idea of when it was that it fell out. So we'll just keep on going on here and make the best of it. Yeah. Well, I hate losing parts and pieces, but that's why we carry extras with us. I can't believe I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was a pin come out of it. Don't know when it happened, but these things happen. Uh, that pin's not the right size by any means. I know that it was just to get me through this here. And as you can tell, you know, it, it has uh, turned out pretty decent. It was a field knee high or grass in it knee high i'll come back through i got a couple more weeks till they come out and uh go camping so i'll come through it a couple more times and clean it up keep on you know mowing it and trying to you know get all the grass mulched up and cleaned up make it make it look presentable to them so for now i'm going to sign off i'm going to head back up oh i would i did want to show you this here real quick just because I was I was looking at this as I was mowing. It's pretty awesome. So I don't know if you guys can tell it that well, but that's our trail going back up through there. Which is a pretty cool little deal, to be honest with you. Um, nice little winding up and down, all that good stuff. So anywho, for now I'm gonna sign off. Uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you like our content here. Uh, I'm going to go through and use some of this movie magic. See if I can find out where that pin went. So, catch you guys next time. Just as a little update here real quick. I did find the pin. Didn't find a little um, finger smasher pin, but I at least found the pin. So, the I've got the right size pin in there now. We're all good. Catch you guys later.